Hey guys, you're Rex and welcome back to another Mindflow tutorial. In this episode, we're gonna be looking at how we can go from this reconnect bot to this quitting bot. So this is very simple. The changes I've made are exclusive to just this on spawn event, I believe, uh, which we just added in here. Um, I like keeping it organized in login uh, end, which is like disconnect, um, spawn, everything else, and then error. And so this is the format I'm keeping it in. And I encourage other people to do the same, so it's easier to find your stuff. But uh, if you have another format they prefer, feel free to stick to that. Here, uh, what we simply added, there's a, a few specific things I want to look into. So the very first new thing is we're using bot.chat. So you guys already know about this event, um, or about events in general. Uh, we just changed out uh, the event name for OnSpawn. And here you can notice we're using async. Uh, this is because my stream chat was telling me to, so we use async. <laughs> and uh, I thought it might be blocking, so uh, we turned the word async. Async just makes it non-blocking, so if you're running multiple bots at once, it's uh, not too much of a hassle. However, we are not yet running multiple bots. It's actually next episode, so if you're hoping to catch that, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of my show videos. That said, uh, we, we set up the... Um, Function, pretty simple stuff. We use bot on chat. This sends a chat message to the server. So if this bot is uh, logged on at any point and this runs, then you'll see it say hello in the chat. Simple as that. And then the next very cool thing, this is actually something that I found out about very recently that in my previous Mindflayer um, projects, I didn't know about. I, I used to just wait for a certain amount of time. It's not a good thing to wait for time uh, when it, you're logged in, because what you really want to do is wait for ticks, right? When you're when you want to wait for one second, what you're actually trying to do is wait for twenty ticks. So what this does is it's oh this is why we use async. Now I remember um, it's we have to use a wait here. So bot dot wait for ticks it returns a promise, which means you have to await it. Uh, so that's just putting this await keyword before it. And uh, to be able to put this await, it has to be an async function, so we have to put async. It doesn't change anything else, so we just put async to let us put the await, and then it all works. So this waits for three seconds, because each second has 20 Minecraft ticks. Uh, brief reminder, when it's in-game, this works. If it's offline, it can't wait for ticks, because waiting for ticks, it's in-game ticks. You have to be logged in for ticks to happen. Just so we're clear on that, don't try and use this when you're not logged in. This is why we couldn't use it for our reconnect because while it's reconnecting, it's offline, if that makes sense. Um, or it's online, but it's not connected to a server. And then we use bot.chat for saying goodbye. And then bot.quit, bot.quit is just a very safe way, um, and I guess scheduled way to have your bot disconnect from the server. Uh, this can be useful if you want your bot to do so log on, do something for 30 minutes, Relog, do something again for 30 minutes, relog. If you want to relog every X amount of time or something like this, very useful because you can control when you quit. And so uh, without further ado, I guess I, it's best I just show you what uh, this bot does. And uh, so I'm gonna open up a terminal, I'm gonna open up a client, start a local server using LAN, and then I'll show you guys uh, what it can do. All right guys, welcome back. And as you can see in the top right, I've got a Minecraft client open. Once again, in 1.8.9, just like previous episodes, we've gone ahead and joined a single player world and opened a LAN server, which is just a local server. Um, now it says port 54485. I've already entered that in, as you can see in the top left here. And we're just in the console. We're going to type this out. And uh, I should mention before I run this, uh, what's going to happen is it's, or I'm actually just going to run it and show you guys and speak what happens. It's going to log in. It's going to say hello, as expected. Wait three seconds exactly. And then it's going to say goodbye and it's going to leave. Now you're going to see it's going to try and reconnect here. Uh, and we don't necessarily want it to do that, right? You don't always want it to reconnect. Sometimes you want it to not reconnect. If it quit, um, like for example, if it got kicked by the server, then you want it to reconnect. But if you quit on its own, um, then it probably shouldn't reconnect. We're going to look at that in the future. Um, but for now, it just <laughs> keeps relogging every three, three seconds and it says hello and goodbye. Um, so, or sorry, it takes five seconds to, to relog, to log back in, but it disconnects after three seconds of being game. Anyways, that's all. I'm going to close this, but, um, that's all I've got for you guys for this episode. If you found this video to be any help, um, or if you just enjoy watching it, please leave a like. It helps me out very, very much. Leave a comment if you have any questions about this and hopefully I can help you out. If not, we're just here. Just join the discord link down below. Uh, if you want to find the code for this episode, also in a GitHub link down below. 
And uh, if you want to watch any of these episodes in the future, which are currently be posted every Tuesday and Friday at 1 p.m. EST, then uh, make sure you go ahead and, and subscribe. Not only because it helps me out, but it helps you out because you can find all my future videos and they'll be in your recommended. And so uh, we can both become better at this mile for thing together. Anyways, I've got nothing left for you guys in this episode. I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.